and welcome back to the North Pennines. Let's see what these mountains can throw at me today. You see, at the moment, I have a slight problem. The only day I can really get up here is midweek, say a Wednesday. And the only time before that would be that I finish early on a Tuesday at two o'clock in the afternoon. Now then, finish at two o'clock. It takes me an hour and a half to get here. So that's half three. And it's now coming up mid-November. And sunset is a quarter past four. Therefore, I haven't got a lot of time to get to where I need to be. But I enjoy the challenge. Let's see what we can do. Yes, some of you may have also noticed the rain cover on the back. Uh -huh. Lesson learned from the last time I came out with a rucksack on. Which, by the way, if you do want to watch that, it should be popping up on a link here. Where the weather today is gorgeous compared to what it was that day. Never mind, keep on going. Hopefully I haven't got far to go. As well as sacrifices with the rucksack, I've also had to make sacrifices with the footwear as well. I've had to basically put my lighter summer boots on to give me more speed, which is not advisable when it's been deluged with rain here for the past five days or so. So any large puddles and it'll be wet feet again. But as I travel up this stony track, where could I be heading? Well, not long till we reach where I need to be, I hope. As I make my way up this rough, seemingly car track, anybody any ideas yet where I am? Well, I think we've got time for a quick spin time. So, if I stop, and I spin very slowly. Down there is hardwood. So, once again, I'm trekking up Grass Hill Causeway. Now, you are probably wondering, thinking, why is he going up Grass Hill Causeway? Well, there aren't that many summits in the Pennines that are easily accessible via road or track. Um, I mean, yes, you could go across, but it'll be in the dark through basically peach bog. There's no paths. And one false move, and at the least it's a wet foot. At the worst, a broken bone of some kind. So, I chose where I'm going because it's close to this track. And for those who know this area, you already know where I'm going. I'm heading for the summit of Great Stony Hill. And here's where it has the potential for getting rather wet. But onwards we go. And here I am, at the summit of Great Stony Hill. Didn't actually take that long, it's not too bad at all. But I think I missed a good sunset. Never mind, better look next time. But it is a totally bizarre weather system. You've got, I think that's rain over there and drizzle in the Tees Valley. Around here, in the Weir Valley, you've got clear with low clouds skirting the top. I kind of see Kilope Law from here. And then if I spin all the way around, of course, 
the Crossfell Range, can I see that at all? Never mind. And the wind's not too bad either. Never mind. Might hang around for a bit, see if anything happens. Well, I don't think there's any really nice sunsets tonight. Yeah, the clouds are all in. It's supposed to clear later on. So, I suppose I better think about heading back. Not tonight. I'm here for the night. Right. Um, it's now, I think it's about 10 past 5. Sun's gone now. All the light's gone. Um, it's now getting quite misty. Um, but I mean, um, I've got my sleeping bag here on my air pad. I've just made myself a nice cup of coffee. Um, my little kitchen's here in the porch. And that's it for now. Let's see how it happens. But it's quite exciting. And it is absolutely quiet. Yes, I can see the mist starting to blow in front of the light. It's starting to get a bit thicker now. Never mind. Still enjoying it. It could be a lot worse. So I'm going to relax, eat my tea, or evening meal, which is, consists of a pie, and then just relax for a bit and enjoy the solitude. Hmm. So that's me in for the night. Why? For the night, I'm saying night, it's only six o'clock. But obviously it's it's dark outside. It is starting to rain very slightly. Um, so, but I'm here. Yes, wild camping. I'm fine here. Now there is some signal, but I'm not going to chance flattening battery or using up all my data. So what do you do <laughs> on the top of a mountain where you haven't got much mobile signal? Well, it's a good job I've got some videos. So, might as well watch one or two. Pass away the time. Ashgill Force. Like this one. If you are interested in watching this video as well, the link for it should pop up at the top of the screen, just here. So, what's the plan? Well, the plan is wait and see what the weather does. Um, if it's nice, I may have a couple of surprises in store. If it's not, then basically it'll be a pack up in the morning and head back to the car. But we cannot tell yet. The North Pennines weather is so unpredictable. That's what makes it exciting, really. But if the wind being quiet, there's not a sound. It's all calm. Definitely what the North Pennines is famous for. I'm finally getting what I came for. Obviously, it's cold, it's windy, but it's a clear night. The stars are out, the whole sky is clear. And I'm hoping to get the astrophotography that I'm hoping, that I've been wanting for so long. So, obviously, ultra wide angle lens on, open it to the max, which is 10 millimeter on this one, and let's see what we can get. And of course, Photographs of stars on their own, they're all right, but it helps to have a bit of interest in the foreground. And more better than the trig point on the top of Great Stony Hill. I'm hoping they should turn out okay. And now, with the photography over for now, it's time to settle down for the night.
and a good morning to you from the summit of Great Stony Hill. Well, nearly, it's just up there behind us. Um, any nice notion of a nice sunrise image from the top? That's gone. There's just too much mist out there. It's very misty, very grey. So that's not going to happen. According to the weather forecast, the sun should come out at about half past eight. But by then, hopefully we'll be packing up by then and heading down. So, never mind. Better look next time with that. But, onwards we go. And first things first, get the kettle on for a brew. Within 10 minutes of me saying it was misty, I came outside and it had cleared. Such is life in the North Pennines. And whilst looking around, something caught my attention. In the distance. And I thought, that's too good an opportunity to miss with the camera. So, with the telephoto lens on and hand-holding, I have time to take a quick image. And with the photography over, it's time to pack up the camp and begin the long journey back. And don't forget, leave no trace. As I descend from the summit of Great Stony Hill, past remnants of mines and bell pits which once scarred this landscape but which nature is taking back. The desolation, the isolation here is fantastic and I am truly alone with nature. As I descend across open moorland, knowing I could be the only human around for miles, I am so happy. This is a very special place. Open moorland, no paths, just walking alone. With stunning views in the distance. Fantastic. finally come back to Grass Hill Causeway, the first sign of civilization since I left the summit that morning. Past old quarries which nature is turning into something unique, I head down back to the road. What a lovely morning for a walk. As I travel down the causeway, the views are tremendous, outstanding, and as I pass Highfield Hushes, I am tread to one last view. And here's the road. Now the sun is shining. And here I am, back to where I started. It's been a fun one this one, really enjoyed it. I don't know whether I'll be able to do it again, due to fading light and the weather. There's a storm on the way apparently and snow. But still, thoroughly enjoyed this one. Hope you have as well. Whether you have enjoyed 
the scenery, the views, or even just the journey. Do not forget everything you've watched, everything you've seen. This is nature. But what of the images I hear you see? Well, the first one, simple. Mountains and mist. Simplicity. And the second, well, whether you are navigating by maps or the stars, you will find them both here in the North Pennines.